Hi, I'm Mel and welcome to my channel. I have a confession to make. If I could not find carb-loaded substitutes like pasta and bread on keto, I would never have reached goal weight and maintained it. In this video, I'm going to talk about why I purchased the KitchenAid KSM Pexta to make keto pasta and how I got to that decision. In my never-ending search on a great keto pasta, I found one that works every single time and here is a link to that recipe. Then you guys asked me for a gluten-free version and hence Keto Pasta 2.0 was born. And here is a link to that recipe. Now, both of those recipes, like most of the Keto Pasta videos here on YouTube, focus on the fettuccine and spaghetti shape. And the reason is, in my opinion, that those two shapes are the easiest to make without a machine, or the batter is not suitable to be extruded or put through a machine. It is, however, only right that we do try to create other pasta shapes on keto. I also wanna make an announcement about how we're gonna structure the tutorials on keto pasta shapes, and I thought this plan would be the most convenient to you. We will release a single keto pasta shape every weekend with the first being macaroni as it was the most popular in our poll. Each video will be one shape per video so if you want to make just one shape you can watch a short tutorial and you don't have to go through a 20 minute video. Then eventually we'll create a playlist so you can access any keto pasta recipe easily. So if you love keto pasta and you're interested in making different shapes, do go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I post a new recipe. Now this machine has been sitting in my house for three days and I have zero patience. Mm -hmm. So yeah, safe to say I'm really excited for this moment. So why did I pick this machine? I actually did a lot of research. Pasta machines range from manual to fully automatic. I considered ease of use, cost, bench space, and something that you know put a spanner in the works was when COVID hit, it affected delivery and what kind of machine I could purchase. The basic fact is, all of these pasta machines work. I ended up with this one because it gave me a great balance across any pasta machine. It is semi-automatic and it's compatible with the KitchenAid mixer that I already have. So I don't need to take up any more bench space and as you can see, I'm running out here. <laughs> and being semi-automatic, it's not gonna be too labor intensive. These are the shapes that are available for this machine. Bucatini, rigatoni, spaghetti, fusilli, large macaroni, and small macaroni. Drum roll please, this is the moment. There is another variation of this machine that comes with the casing for your pasta plates and it's actually got a cleaning brush instead of a pen like stick if you like. But these are, you get six pasta plates, large macaroni, small macaroni, Fusilli, Bucatini, and of course your Rigatoni. And you might say, but Mel, that's only five plates. Well, here is the sixth one, and that's your spaghetti. They have pre-fitted one of the plates for you. This is your cutting tool. So if you imagine your machine will be sitting like that, and then you would just cut your pasta as it extrudes. Pretty cool, huh? This screws off, of course, and then you get to change your plates as you wish. This section also gets removed for cleaning. This is what feeds your pasta through the machine, and this is the area this is the hole where you would feed your balls of pasta through and then it comes out through here and then you cut it. If you find that your blade holder is too tight, this contraption here helps you loosen it. And then the other, on the other side, that helps you push your pasta down. Like I said before, the other machine has a brush, but this one has a pen-like 
contraption and you can clean inside your plates like that or you can brush it if you have the other machine. Do ensure that your cutters are removed out of the way for safety. Attach your auger and then your plate. Your KitchenAid will either have a flap or a screw. I have a screw so I'm going to unscrew mine and remove. Then attach the bolt to your machine and then you would reinsert your screw. Do note that your mixing machine should only be turned on once you're ready to extrude your pasta. So, we live in exciting times. I cannot wait to do this keto pasta series for you guys. And I hope you enjoy it too. Until then, as always, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and be well.